Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some multiple choice question in gynecology. Choose the one best response. The first question, the superficial perineal pouch in, in the female is anatomically characterized by A lies between the two layers of the urogenital diaphragm b contains branches of the uterine artery c contains the ischiocavernosus muscle d contains the external sphincter of the urethra e contains the levator in eye muscle please choose the one best response the one best response here is C contain the ischio cavernosus muscles. Next question What is the major estrogenic substance in postmenopausal women? What is the major estrogenic substance in postmenopausal women? Estradiol. A. Estradiol B. Mistranol C. Estriol D. Estron E. Estenyl Estradiol Choose the one best response. In the postmenopausal woman, the estron, which is a type of estrogen, is the major part. Okay, estradiol is the most potent but related to the reproductive years. Estriol is only detected in large amount in pregnancy because it is produced by the placenta. So, in prepubertal age and in postmenopausal age, estrone or E1 estrone is the major estrogenic substance so the best one response here is estrone next question the syndrome of vaginismus is described by which of the following statements it involves involuntary reflex contraction of the vaginal and the perineal musculature it is associated with concomitant dysfunction in the male partner or vaginal dilators vaginal dilators have no role in the treatment or diagnosis can be definitely established by history or most cases can be treated by counseling so choose the one best response the one best response here is it involves involuntary reflex contraction of the vaginal and the perineal musculature let us go to the next question which of the following are homologous organs in the male and the female respectively a. Prostate and the parcelin gland B. Scrotum and the labia minora C. Cooper's gland and the skin's gland D. Corpus spongiosum and the labia majora E. Gabarnaculum of the testis and round ligament Choose the one best response Here it is clear that A, B, C, D all of them are false but the best one response here is E gabarniculum of testis and round ligament which of the following statements is true about the round ligament A the round ligament lies posterior to the uterus 
B. The round ligament supports the fundus of the uterus. C. The round ligament is a vestigial structure. D. The round ligament ends distally in the inguinal canal. E. The round ligament contains the neuromuscular bundle supplying the ovary. Choose the one best response. The one best response here is D. The round ligament ends distally in the inguinal canal. Go to the next. As regard to menstruation, which of the following is true? A. During menstruation, the stratum basalis is shed. B. During menstruation, the stratum compactum is shed. C. During menstruation, fibrinolysis is enhanced. D. Endometrial regeneration begins after ovulation. E. Vasodilatation of the spiral arterioles precedes menstruation. So, choose the one best response. The one best response here is P. During menstruation, the stratum compactum is shed. This is the best one response. Okay, go to the next question with this case scenario and multiple choice question. A recently married 24 year old female is requesting contraception for one year. She is known to have polycystic ovary syndrome and struggles with acne and hirsutism. She has no other medical conditions. What would be the best contraceptive option for her. A. Intrauterine device B. Progestogen only implant C. Combined contraceptive pills D. Progestogen only injectable E. Levonorgestrel intrauterine system Choose the one best response as regard being young age 24 recently married okay and also she has a PCOS and complaining of acne and hirsutism so the contraception of a choice would be combined contraceptive pills C so the best one response is combined contraceptive Pills. It is a contraceptive method and management of such case with BCOS also for hirsutism and the acne. Okay? Okay. Go to the next. A 57 year old present 50, 57 year old woman presents with postmenopausal bleeding. An endometrial biopsy shows moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma cells. So, what is the most appropriate staging investigation? Chest X-ray, CT scan of her pelvis, hysteroscopy, MRI scan of her pelvis, Transabdominal ultrasound scan. Choose the one best response. The one best response here clearly is MRI scan for, of her pelvis. MRI can help me in appropriate staging in case of endometrial carcinoma. rather than other methods so the best one response is D MRI scan of her pelvis
Let's go to the next question. Signet ring cells are characteristic finding in which tumor of the ovary? Signet ring cells are characteristic findings in which tumor of the ovary? A. Brenner tumor B. Krukenberg tumor C. Dermoid cyst E. D. Sorry, D. Endometrioid carcinoma E. Dysgerminoma Signet ring cells characteristic for Krukenberg's tumor so the best one or the one best response here is Krakenberg tumor B thank you please remember my books published on Amazon textbook of obstetrics textbook of gynecology contraception handbook and lastly multiple choice question related to gyne obstetric and contraception and this is the link of my site on Amazon as a author you can find me on amazon.com